Welcome to the four part compartment pour. And it's not paint that's been um, diluted with any kind of flow troll. It's just uh, straight out of the container. Um, this is the extender and it's from uh, scraping uh, the table. Uh, this I'm gonna put in some water and um, when I'm finished using this container, I'll also put it in some water. This is what I made. If you were to pretend that this is a, a brush, just clean it in like this, in the water like this. Um, you just don't want it to dry bottle bottoms or the bowl bottoms. I put them in water immediately. My sticks, everything could just be put into the bowl of water. Okay, so two of them. This is a, for a bigger one. Um, pouring my resin. I had 91 canvases that I poured resin on. And so I had lots of opportunity to just go ahead and pour the resin in. It worked though. I did this one yesterday. And uh, because there was some gook in it, I had to make some little frilly design. And I wanna make one today without the lines. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and fill up the container. And what I'd like it to do is go from dark to light. So I'm going to start with uh, my yellow and put it in this first compartment. These are supposed to be the same sizes. Well, let me just fill my purple here first before so I can figure out what I can do. Okay. I'm going to just start pouring it, and um, I think you're able to see it. And I'm going to turn this way as I turn the canvas. to collect the uh, drippings because there are some dry drippings from yesterday. I new technique for me is really nice. If it dries like this, I will be very pleased. I like the way it went off the sides. Um, see where I can show you the sides. So I think, but Putting the green paint paint on it really allowed it to stay. Didn't get so lots of times the the corners are white. Uh, so in any case, this is oh, shut this off. This is it. Uh, hi, this is a portion of the video where I'm showing you how I, I cut the uh, piece of these into their shapes. So one of the things I did first is I, like this, and um, put that on the table and 
the two inch mark is then drawn all the way around the bottle rim so that it's exactly two inches and then I can now cut it knowing that the top of the bottle um, and the bottom should be the same height. Should cut along the line and make sure that I'm being very mindful of where that line is just to open up the two liter bottle. Um, we want to be able to go in there and have another line drawn. So I've taken these pieces that come off and I save them because they're nice um, thick pieces of paper. And it's also something that I can use to draw a line. I've got a piece of the clear um, plastic that comes in the middle of the packs of canvas. Uh, so the factory cut is here. The cut, the part that I cut is here, and that way I know that my straight line is actually going to be straight. Oh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a third one. What I'm gonna do is, when I did this one, I made the teardrop like this, um, using these bands, and then I cut the straight lines and I put them in here. So I'll show you how to do that. Or this one can be uh, the round um, cut in here. So I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to let it open. The line will be. Turn up. And I don't know where my utility knife is. So I'm going to go ahead and cut straight up here because we're going to end up cutting this anyway. Um, See how that's it's going to automatically want to bend on me. So I'd rather use this for the round ones um, and then put the straight pieces from this other piece in here. So even this would be hard to do with the two liter bottle. So the two liter bottle is the best to do a circle. Take it and I know it's going to have to be right here and I'm gonna want it to be straight. So again, I can use this table as a 40, I mean as a 90 degree cut. Okay, now the teardrop that is gonna be cut on the bottom is also right from this as well. My teardrop. So I'm cutting this right up to the edge. And I'm gonna stop right here. And I'm gonna take it and fold it back and make it where the teardrop, the plastic from the other side. Okay, then we, we definitely have it fitting and now I open this back up and I want to find um, the, the middle. It's 10 inches long, so it's going to be 5 inches is the middle. Make the line straight. Okay, so that's going to be where the one piece is going to be. Right there. You're gonna have to make sure though you do something other than just the tape because I did just the tape and it leaked. So I I creased back the the tape, get it right on the line. Piece of tape. This can go right like that. Take off the extra tape just for cleanliness. That's, that's gonna have to be cut so um, it's not so long. But for right now, it's okay. Then the teardrop is gonna be cut in the center. And then we need two other sections. So we've got the one here and then here. And 
here. So we're going to want a piece that is um, going to be that long. We'll go down here, make it the same length. This. And we want two of them this exact same size as this. So once I cut this, I'll just go back, draw another line. Um, and it should be something that you do in, in a relaxing, enjoyable um, amount of time. So this is how we're going to find out where that next piece goes by curving this around and marking the spot and marking the spot straight up. Take our tape, make sure that it's straight up and down. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I'll flip it so that you can put tape on both sides. So if you go like this, you can score your tape to bend for you. This is probably why it leaked on me, but now I have no intentions on continuing to have that be the only way um, I'm taping. So if I go like this, across the top here, push down on the tape, and I'm going to bring this in, and those pieces of plastic should also be right where they're touching, and push down with your fingernail so that it doesn't come apart when you let go. You can also, you can also just put things so that it doesn't go pink and open up into your tape so that it will be able to be used now with the circle you're going to do the exact same things as this okay so then i'm going to come down and connect the bottom pushing down are you able to see me I'm the bottom is the most important part. I mean, not the bottom, the point, um, because we want them all to be equal and able to pour out. I also don't want these to be bowed. I want them to be straight. Um, so, now, I decided not to tape each one of them down here because then it could block that pour. So this piece of tape also has to be very carefully removed so it doesn't block. One of the things that I have found to be handy is um, a wrapped canvas and then um, to take one of these pieces and like this is already cut well it's already the line is already drawn so have this uh, put a little piece of tape here and here so I'll go down make sure that the glue goes all the way wait for it to get down there Down. Woo. Okay, so now the object of the game is to get the glue to just be rubbed around, making sure it goes past the tape again, onto the side of the plastic. I'm making sure that the one 
that's bowed is pulled over a little bit with the piece of tape connecting them rather than taking it all apart. So is this. This is tiny. All right. That should work. So we're going to gently set this here. And I just want to show you that you can make this as big as you want. You can even get another a part of the two liter bottle and make it wider. You can also make smaller ones uh, like with this bottle. You can make tiny ones. gotten a little bit of the stuff out of it, um, some of the paint out of it, excuse me. I was making sure that it was um, being taped. Uh, so this allows the paintbrush to get into that little crevice at the bottom and um, instead of having to force your finger down there or something that could run. So right now I have had the resin put on it and I did that by uh, making the resin go inside and on the outside with my hands and basically giving it a layer of resin everywhere, letting it dry um, with it on its um, uh, upright. So um, then I just cut off the excess um, resin and then put, added it another layer the next day and then another layer the next day so that there's three layers of resin and it's pretty um, firm now and um, I will have to use the Dremel tool to cut off some of the, the uh, part that had dried on the underside. Um, however, it's um, made the mold very sturdy, and um, it seems like the, the, the mold is going to be effective to be able to use. So now I have three different molds, different sizes, with different amounts of um, colors. This is the next morning. Uh, it's not dry yet. Uh, some of the yellow did come off. If you'd like to be notified for future uh, videos that I upload, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And um, if you had as much fun as I did today, give me a thumbs up and have a great day and be safe.